In this example, we will explain how to set up the plane capacitor simulation and to calculate the dissipation factor of this model. Our website shows the detailed explanation of the problem setup. Dissipation factor tangent delta may be calculated by dividing active and reactive currents, which we will try to obtain in the field simulation. Let's start the simulation. We create a new problem. Select the type of analysis. It is AC conduction in this case. Model class is plane parallel. Frequency is 50 Hz. The thickness of the model is 1 cm. Length you need some meters. Cardinal system is Cartesian. Precision is normal. Now you see the model editor window. We should enter the nodes. It's better to adjust the scale to the size of the problem and continue by entering new vertices. We enter vertices in the corners of the rectangle, which represent the cross section of the part of the capacitor. Now we connect vertices by straight lines which represent edges then we switch to the select mode and continue by labeling the objects to activate the context menu we should click right mouse button of the highlighted object. Right mouse button, click, properties, and enter the label name. Again, right mouse button, click, properties, and other edge label name. For the upper and bottom edges, we will set symmetry conditions because we cut off small part of the capacitor. In the problem tree, we see block label dielectric. We set up physical parameters for this dielectric. Primitivity is 10. And it also has some small conductivity. Boundary conditions on the electrodes is positive and negative voltages. And on the symmetry condition, we set physical situation when there is no normal current density, because all the currents are tangential. It represents 
small cut of the uh, cross section of the capacitor. We built the mesh, automatic mesh, and solved the problem. Now we could see the results. We adjust the presentation and turn on the color map of the voltages, RMS values. Now this is the color map. We could create a contour across the capacitor or along any of edges. And in this case, we select the right edge and now we make a great integral the current across the right electrode. It's a C problem, so we have active and reactive currents. By dividing the active and reactive current, we may calculate the dissipative factor or tangent delta. Which are very close to theoretical result. More example.